What is it about shoot the intro that means walk away from me? What is it about? It takes you forever. Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs Golf and welcome out to Beverly Hills Golf Course. Today is the day that we, possibly you, have been waiting for for a long time. It's bunker day. So a lot of you wrote in giving us advice and tips on how to make the bunker. I really appreciate that because we did go through each and every one of your suggestions, kind of compiled our own idea of what we want this bunker to be and how we want to make it. It's most likely not going to be exactly how you're supposed to make a bunker, but uh, we feel like, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of uh, to how to accomplish this. So without any further delay, let's make a bunker. So what do you want to do first? You just want to tell them what we're going to do? We're going to build a bunker. I know that we're going to take all gonna build... this topsoil up. I take it we're going to tap into one of our drains that we have under here. Yes. I am actually, that's what I was doing while you were playing in the sandbox over at Lowe's. <laughs> 20 bags of sand. That's and it? I thought you said 25. I only bought 20 because it's too heavy. So while he was at Lowe's picking up the overpriced sand, as he keeps reminding me, uh, I went around and marked stakes where we have existing drainage. So there's a drain that runs here. There's a little branch that runs off the side of the green here, runs out, connects, and then also one over here that runs all the way down. So basically, our bunker has to fit in this area right here. I want to make a circular bunker. Do you have a problem with that? No problem. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Now what we do need is we need to find center between these stakes here. I want to drive a, a piece of rebar down, tie a piece of string to it, and just make a perfect circle right here. And then edge that circle, and then use your tractor to bucket out what we edged. So are we going to dig this like, and then put bricks up here so it's like they open? Yeah, you want? Yeah, one of those bunkers. That'd be so cool. It would be, but it'd be hard. <laughs> we don't have the time nor the skill. I got a couple bricks. We're gonna dig a hole and fill it with sand. There That's we what are. we're gonna do. So I guess what we need to do is kind of find the center. Yeah, map center, right? So you need a? Did you bring a tape measure? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Hey, actually, do you have marking like spray paint that we could use? No, but I could have bought some. It's Work like, my butt off out here, and I get anyway, no respect. Well, here, none. Hey. Rodney Dangerfield. Come here. Come here. This ground's hard as a rock. I should have watered it. Oh, uh, take that over there. To that. Oh dang. That's pretty good. We have 10 feet in width from these two drainage pipes. Okay. Mom, do we have any uh, spray paint? Zoe, we're not gonna play with you right Let's now. Put it in my box pocket. Here. Just forget it. It's not happening. We can't right now, we gotta work. Can you go this way a tad? Yeah, because you're bringing more holes into play. Well, the further you go that way. So, hole number two is gonna come into play. Three's in play. Three. Four's in play. Where's four? Four's there. We talked about the fact that these first five holes, are the easiest. first, yeah, four or five holes are the easiest. So once you get to six and seven, the narrowness of the green is what is the challenge where well, this is going to complicate this side of the golf course which is where we were that's where you make most of your birdies right. from so yeah i like that it what color perfect. spray paint is it Dark green, green. <laughs> yeah the white would be better I, we're not going to be able to see green yeah five feet there we're clear all the way around we think we found center here of where we want to start our bunker i think we're going to go perfectly circular so we're going to get a spray can Mark around in a circle here where we want to edge the bunker out, get the tractor, and then excavate that. As much as we can. I think... A lot of this is going to be hand shot. I think like six inches because we don't want to go too deep because then we got to dig that... I was under the impression we need to only go three to four inches. I mean, how deep do you go down when you swing into... Do I go or you go? Because you go... Well, I'm expert now. <laughs> I hope you know right now I'm going to play the B-roll of you and your bunker, so we're going to cut to that. Let's, uh, let's measure out a five foot piece of rope. We'll tie the can to it and then we'll spray paint a circle. Why don't you just take it and take it out five foot and put just little marks instead of trying to paint the whole circle? Why do you always have to argue everything that I say? I'm just trying to make it easy. Here, pull the camera. That can of paint is expensive, I can tell you. You're gonna need my help. Why am I gonna need your help? You're gonna tie the string? Oh, okay. 
What, am I five years old? I don't know how to tie my shoes. Is that well, what I thought you were just going to use the tape measure. The rabbit goes into the hole, around the tree. <laughs> Oh, you got your tape measure. You're filming the ground right now. Oh, I got your feet. <laughs> there you go, there I got you now. What? I followed you all the way. I can't do everything. <laughs> what do you think of that? Does that look good? Yep, make a great drop zone. <laughs> uh, wouldn't, it? wouldn't it? I can't do this. I can't do it anymore. You're filming my feet again. Ah, I'm back. <laughs> This is why it takes eight hours to shoot a video. Um, what, the camera? Am I done with the camera? Yeah, are we done with it? No, we gotta film No, I mean, are we done with me holding it? That's what I mean. Yeah. You want me to go get the tractor? No, did you listen to me? We have to edge this first before we get the tractor involved. Okay, wait, wait. Actually, before you do, do you want to walk back? Because this is like... I take a look? Yeah, this is point of no return. We don't want to start digging before we know. All so right. let's at least go back to like... The second hole. It's too bad we don't have that good paint because we could paint this white and then we could see what it looked like. I'm serious. If we had to paint that for ground paint, we could have painted this white, went over there and looked, and we could have seen what the bunker looked like. So your idea is to spend an hour that painting this took an grass hour. so you can <laughs> see what it looks like before <laughs> we done. Yeah, so that so hole right there is the center. So first hole that cuts off that side of the green, that looks nice. I like that. And then from there, you're going to block out. It'll get a lot. Yeah. It better on, on two and three especially. Yeah, it's going to block out You're gonna see a two, lot three, and it. four are the real easy holes. And that tends to be the bailout any, area anyway. So yep. I, I like that. I think we're good. Yep. No! Let's just take these out there. Yeah, that's fine. You can take those. That way I got room to maneuver. Yeah, we'll bring the tractor in. Wait, who said you're driving the tractor? Oh, we know who's driving the tractor. So we're done digging the bunker. We're about four to six inches down, somewhere in that ballpark. Right now, we're just trying to level out some of the high spots, kind of taper it all in this direction, and then when we're done, uh, we'll dig a drainage ditch here to connect to our existing ditch that's out there. <laughs> this sucks. I thought I had it located. You find it? You found it. No, we're way deep. <laughs> We went way too deep. Let's get let's take some measurements here. Here, let's lay this pipe down real quick, take a look, see where we're at. Because if we're not getting a good fall at this depth, because we almost need, need even need to go about another couple inches up here. Okay, so we know that it's gotta be about no less than that. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't either. Alright, so we've come across the problem. The ditch that we originally dug from the green was really set off the slope of the land. But we're dropping so steeply here in a short amount of time that uh, we can't get it to match up with the existing drain. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a bypass underneath that drain and let it go out to this ditch, which is much lower than even this is. So a uh, little bit more work, a lot of bit more work. <laughs> The reason we're capping this end of the pipe is so mud and stuff doesn't get jammed in there. You don't want to drain because water is a lot like Quentin. It's super lazy and it's always going to find the easiest way. So just as long as we surround this with pea gravel, there's perforations in this pipe to let water into it. Water will find that way and it, it will get out of this area because this is hard clay and it's always going to find the easiest route, this being the easiest route. So now we're going to backfill with pea gravel and then, uh, oh. Then we got more to do. We went all the way out 
already covered this with grass, but pea gravel covering it all the way. We were planning on connecting to this pipe right here, but the fall was too steep. So we went ahead and went under that, went down this ditch, and then reconnected to this drain down here where everything else goes. So we should have good drainage on here. We have it all leveled out. So we're gonna lay down the landscaping fabric to keep the sand from getting into the drainage and leaving the bunker. And my dad says also to keep weeds out. We'll make sure we let you know that. It's right there, we control. And we get it, okay? It's gonna keep weeds out, fantastic. But we're gonna go ahead and lay that down now. And I bought some spikes to fasten it in so it doesn't come up if there's a heavy rain. So we're gonna do that now. Tarp is down, so we're ready to apply some sand. As soon as my dad gets done playing over here, we'll start that process. <laughs> but we went with play sand because uh, we wanted it to be really white. And we live nowhere near a beach with white sand, so it would have cost a lot to import it. And uh, we're like, let's just get the play sand. It's expensive, but the bunker that we're putting it in is not very large, so I feel like that's, that's all right. That's all right, Randy. I got this stuff. Don't worry about it. Do you want to hold the camera? Don't worry about it. Do you want to hold the camera? Then I got it. And film my feet. Do you want to do that? Do you want to film my feet while I carry sand? Here. I can put that stupid thing let's on a tripod. Shot. Here's your shot. Let's right some here. Let's, let's get feet shot. Right here. So we're gonna cover the tarp with sand, and we're gonna tap that down with a tapper that I have to kind of compact it into the mat, flatten everything out, and then we'll just kind of fill it in slowly. So. I know I'm killing you with these music montages, but I'm gonna have to do it again. Alright guys, we're all done. It's been a long day, but before we play out of it, there's one thing left we have to do. Slow motion rake montage. It's time. It's time. <laughs> Let's see if this thing works. Where do you want to hit from? Right in the center? Well, I, I hate to tell you, there's not a lot of real estate to choose from, so yeah. How center, about that? Right dead center. That's beautiful. Is that a money shot right there? Don't say money shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to shock you. I'm going to shock the world right here. Shock the world, Dad. Are you ready? Let's see it. Look at this guy. <laughs> Real sand. No boulders. What, what can you say? That's beautiful. <laughs> as far as the club gliding through, it didn't dig too much. Nope. I mean, we barely got down past the grooves of the rake. Yep. I can't believe how close you got that under pressure. Under pressure. That's like six feet. I That's thought I'd make it. Shut <laughs> I'm super proud of it. I like the shape of it. I like the location of it. This tends to be a collection area for most of our missed shots. Are you already raking it because it's bothering you? Yeah, it is. It's bothering me. <laughs> but I, like I was saying, this is where we miss most of our shots. This is the same well, side of the green. the truth. This is where I miss most of my shots. This is where he misses most of his <laughs> shots. So this is really, this is the scuba trap because I needed a handicap out this here. This is exactly what it is. And I, I blamed it on you guys wanting a trap, but really I just wanted to collect all his balls <laughs> that skip off this driveway and end up right here. Maybe we should let them name it. Name the... Name the sand trap. I, yeah, I mean, scuba trap's fine, but it's a bit generic. It's, yeah, a, it's a safe I, play. I don't feel like yeah, that's... I already proved it isn't a trap anymore. <laughs> Not for me. 
I'm already proven my he, point. This is the this is the epitome of him. He hits one good shot and now he's just like, yep, I got it. Okay, so I want you guys to name this sand trap. So that's your guys' goal. Name this sand trap for Beverly Hills. I don't know, I, man. Winner gets a t-shirt. What? Winner gets a scuba shirt, I'll pay for it. Since he's paying, we'll give away a scuba t-shirt for whoever's name we pick. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. This bunker came to life because of you guys, because you kept on us about getting a sand trap out here. Now we finally have one. I promise that a course vlog is gonna come soon. Like I was saying, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, we... Do you want to be in the outro? I don't care. I'm busy. I work, remember? Ah! Until next time, we'll see you later. Just yeah, see you, man. Gosh, you're the worst. You're the worst. <laughs>